Hey guys, Latanya Davis here to talk to you today. This is video number 39 of my YouTube channel. And before I start, I would like to remind you to subscribe to my channel, to like and comment if you have a, you know, a comment you would like to add to any of them. So first, I would like to remind you that we are in a pandemic uh, going through it. So please be careful and take the proper precautions that you may need to protect yourself your family and your community so let's keep everybody safe okay now I have to tell you when I make these videos that the topic pretty much just comes up and usually it's current events things that are going on in the news and recently unfortunately race has been brought to the forefront uh, unfortunately through to through um, unfortunate events that have gone on um, in the last couple months um, I do have previous videos on race, uh, so feel free to go back and look at those, uh, but we are definitely going to talk about it today. So as school officials are deciding what to do, when school should start, and as we start to see school supplies at the stores, um, it's time for me to talk to the teachers. I feel the need to talk to them today. Recently, with all the race things going on, we all kind of got a gut check on, you know, checking our own, uh, you know, how we feel or stereotypes that we have ourselves that maybe were brought up when we were kids. Um, and I personally had to relearn a lot about myself and actually, unfortunately, uh, relearn a lot about my history. Um, so one way of doing that is that a lot of people are doing is reading. So I started reading this book. Okay. And it's uh, so you want to talk about race. It's a really good book, very good author. And she basically read my mind uh, when the, with the things that I've gone through in my life. Um, and she kind of talks about being a uh, black and working in a white, um, culture workforce and it's the these experiences that she goes through kind of reminds me of things that I went through as a teacher and so I related a lot to her and it, it pretty much was me in the education field the things that she talks about um, the different situations just basically reminds me of specific times where like at my school um, we'll be in a meeting and um, of teachers and you know we have, we'll talk about our students that live in the city and a lot of the teachers would call them city kids. And man, listening to that was like nails on a chalkboard to me. It drove me nuts. And it was just so, it just bothered me to hear that all the time. And sometimes I corrected teachers, sometimes it's just like, and it goes again, you know, and it just got so frustrating after a while. And uh, back when I was talking about when I was at this meeting, I'm in this meeting and I hear a teacher say, the only reason they're getting good grades is because they're athletes. That's the only reason they're getting good grades, talking about our students that live in the city. And man, I couldn't believe what I heard. It was so frustrating to me to hear that. And when that teacher said that, I thought three things. One is when I got my master's, I got a 3.94 and I wasn't in a sport. And I just wanted good grades. Two, I thought, I'm glad that this teacher is not was never my teacher. The third thing I thought was, I feel sorry for the black students that this teacher had because for them to feel that way it was just it just broke my heart I felt really sorry for them um, for a teacher to already have their set standards on what they thought about me as a teacher and you know it was it was very frustrating to hear very frustrating to see um, so teachers, I encourage you as we start the new year that 
take a deep look inside and try to eliminate any possible microaggressions, um, which is a word that I just learned. And it's a statement action incident regarding regarded as an instance of indirect, subtle, or in, unintentional discrimination against members of a marginalized group such as a racial or ethnic minority, okay? So it's unconscious. You not even realize you're being that way, but you are. So a lot of teachers are, have that, and I've seen it, And uh, but not all teachers are, but it's something to pay attention to. Be the one that learns from their mistakes, right? You may not even realize you're saying it. And, you know, just do a little research and think a little harder. Things that you do may not, you may not realize that they may hurt someone else. I mean, just last week, I had two, two instances where women looked at me and clutched their purse. And it's not a good feeling to have someone do that to you when it's just not okay. It's just not okay. It's not a good feeling. I came home feeling like, why? Why would someone do that? It's just, it just, it hurts my feelings, you know? And um, on another note, um, I got a message from a former cheerleader friend of mine from high school. And, you know, I hope she doesn't mind me mentioning this, but she sent me a message. Uh, and apologize for a statement that she made to me in high school while we were on a bus on the way to a game. And keep in mind, I graduated 23 years ago. I mean, how big of a person is that to, to contact me and tell me that she felt bad about something she said to me over 23 years ago? It's a big deal. It's a big deal and I love and respect her for that because I completely forgot about it. Completely forgot about it. But she didn't. And she took time out of her schedule to contact me and apologize for that. And that's a big deal. And that's where it all starts, guys. We all learn that, you know, sometimes we say things that hurt others, but we learn from them and we grow. And, you know, we grow and we teach and we use it as learning experiences. She's a mother now, so she can teach her kids about, you know, making good choices and the things that you say and how they can hurt other people, you know, and that's a big deal. So as we prepare for the school year in the fall, teachers, let's think before we speak to our students and coworkers of color. You don't have to ask about their hair. You don't have to ask to touch it. You can compliment on it and that's okay. But if you have questions about race and you don't have someone that you feel comfortable talking to about it, ask Google, ask Google. Don't ask your students because it may not seem like a big deal to you, but to ask about their race or culture, but if you're a teacher, it could be offensive to that student and it may make them feel inferior, and that's not okay. So let's keep that in mind. Be safe out there. Until next time, guys, have a great day.